Who can make the best fighter jets has always been a point of contention between nations. During the Cold War, this was especially heated between the US and the USSR. The US military was searching for a weapon that could shoot down the newest fighter aircraft just after the Second World War ended. The M61 Vulcan rotary gun is the end result. In Vietnam, the Vulcan was first employed in April 1965. This system has been used on several fixed-wing aircraft since it was first developed, starting with the F-105D Thunder Chief. The most recent M61A2 variant, which is 20% lighter than the M61A1 version, is still in use on aircraft like the F-22 and the F-A18. Additionally, it has been installed in side-firing configurations on the Fairchild AC-11 and Lockheed AC-130 gunships. According to the Gatling principle, using several rotating barrels enables faster firing rates while preventing barrel overheating. The 1860s saw the continuation of this idea in the present day, but Gatling would probably be shocked at the modern minigun. A bullet cannot be seen by the human eye as it leaves the muzzle of a gun, but in case of the General Dynamics M61A 220mm rotary cannon, there are literally hundreds of bullets that are invisible per second. With a firing rate of more than 6,600 rounds per minute, more than 100 rounds are ejected from the barrels per second. The barrels, six of them, that are electrically operated are the key to this, enabling for both the incredibly quick cycle rate and assisting in preventing the barrels from overheating. Comparing this to a single barrel, it also raises the chances of many hits. Even though this would seem to be cutting-edge 21st century technology, the original M61 was created by General Electric after World War II. But the idea of using several barrels is older than a century. The Gatling concept in which it was built allows for a fast rate of fire also lowering heat and barrel erosiveness. When compared to the muzzle-loading rifles of the day, it was thus more a semi-automatic weapon, but one with an extremely quick rate of fire. The Gatling gun was only briefly employed during the Civil War and was not used by the American government until 1866 when the U.S. Cavalry employed it on the frontier until it was deemed outdated in 1911. One intriguing side note is that Richard Gatling created a prototype with the electric motor while serving as a president of the Gatling Gun Company, enabling his design to fire a rate of approximately 3,000 rounds per minute. In contrast, the British Vickers and German MG-08 were just 550 to 600 rounds per minute faster than the different Maxim gun variants that were employed during the First World War. General Electric didn't receive the contract for Project Vulcan, which resulted in the creation of the M61 20mm Vulcan until 1946. The M61A2 upgraded variant which is 20% lighter and intended for applications where weapon systems weight reduction is vital, is presently produced by General Dynamics, which bought the armament division of General Electric. On AH-1G Cobra helicopters, the Vulcan platform variations have also been used. The MK-15 Phalanx closed-in weapon system, a rapid-fire computer-controlled radar-guided cannon that may be employed against anti-ship missiles and other close-in threats on land and at sea, is based on the M61 Vulcan in addition to being utilized in airplanes. For use with the M35 armament subsystem for the AH-1G Cobra helicopter, a variant with significantly shorter barrels known as the M195 was also created. Before the M97 Universal turret with the M197 gun was adopted, this version was created to give the AH-1 helicopter a longer range suppressive fire system. It was supplied by ammunition boxes mounted to the landing skid. The US Army M163 armored vehicle was also equipped with the M61. 
Later, among other aircraft, variations of the armament were installed on LTVA-7 Corsair IIs, McDonnell Douglas F-4E Phantom IIs, Lockheed AC-130s, and General Dynamics F-111 Aardvarks. Ownership of the M61 Vulcan has undergone significant change. The Martin Marietta Corporation acquired the armament division of General Electric, and Lockheed Martin later merged with it. General Dynamics later bought Lockheed, and today, it is General Dynamics that is in charge of the M61. Let's now explore how the M61 Vulcan was used in the Vietnam War. Although the development of the M61 Vulcan started in the 1940s, it wasn't until 1965's Vietnam War that the rotary cannon was actually used in battle. Vietnamese MiG-17 aircraft engaged in combat for the first time with Republic F-105 Thunder Chiefs equipped with M61 weapons and a force of 10 North American F-100 Super Sabre aircraft. When it was all said and done, three MiGs and two F-105s had been shot down in the battle. Major Fred Tracy, who was taking part in a battle with a MiG at the time, was credited with the first confirmed kill by an M61. This incident took place in 1966. Following the Vietnam War, the U.S. produced the M61 internally for new fighters. Helicopters, tanks, and aircraft used by the U.S. Navy and Air Force today all have modifications. For instance, the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor has a model with narrower barrels to save its weight. Additionally, the U.S. has given the M61 to some of its allies, including Saudi Arabia and South Korea. The rotary cannon is also used by some NATO countries. For your information, on June 29, 1966, Major Fred Tracy, flying an F-105 Thunder Chief of the 421st TFS, fired 200 rounds of 20mm into a MiG-17 that had just fired a 23mm round that entered one side of his cockpit and exited the other. This was the first confirmed Vulcan gun kill. Major Tracy fired on him when the NVAF MiG flew in front of him following his pass. Besides its advantages, we'll examine this Gatling gun's drawbacks. Multi-barreled systems relative complexity, weight, and need for external power are their downsides in terms of electrical, pressured air, or hydraulics. Although self-powered, gas-operated, Gatling-type weapons are uncommon, they are nevertheless significantly larger and heavier than standard single-barreled weapons. The Gatling-type gun's additional flaw, which is crucial for aerial combat, is that it takes the gun some time to ramp up to full speed after the trigger is pulled. The speed-up time for the M61 Vulcan gun is around 0.4 seconds. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one.